Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Fire and fury night of carnage erupts into flames as tire barricade and shoe zone torched with hundreds of thugs running riot across UK. Battles broke out across at least nine cities as angry mobs ran riot six days after three girls were killed in a Southport stabbing initially rumored to have been carried out by a migrant. Huge groups of rioters descended on Liverpool, Manchester, Sunderland, Portsmouth, Hull, Blackpool, Bristol, Belfast, Stoke, Nottingham and Leeds on Saturday. Thousands of cops, many with riot helmets and shields, were deployed after groups organized Enough is Enough demonstrations in 22 major towns and cities. Chilling images showed these planned attacks ending in carnage with skips and bins set ablaze. Looters were pictured grabbing wine bottles, shoes, and phones from the shelves of high street shops after brazen yobs smashed windows and started fires. Shocking footage appeared to show Spello Hub, a Merseyside library which reopened last year set ablaze in the chaotic scenes. A number of fires continued to burn as rampaging thugs unleashed a torrent of fireworks through the streets of Liverpool. In clips of chaotic scenes, police helicopters can be heard circling overhead. Harrowing footage shows people with their hoods up and faces covered running through the ravaged streets. The first riots were this week sparked by speculation about the Southport attacker's identity, as rumors swelled online, he was a migrant. Cops stressed the suspect was born in Cardiff before a judge ruled to reveal the 17-year-old's identity in an effort to quell unrest. Axel Mugenwa Ruta Kubana was named on Wednesday as the teen charged over the knife attack in the Merseyside town, as the judge lifted reporting restrictions just days before his 18th birthday. Under-18s have an automatic right to anonymity in UK courts. B.B. King, 6, Elsie Dot Stankumb, 7, and 9-year-old Alice Da Silva Aguiar were knifed to death in the mass stabbing. Elsie's mom this week condemned the riots and urged protesters to stop. After violence first erupted in Southport, she wrote, This is the only thing that I will write, but please stop the violence in Southport tonight. The police have been nothing but heroic these last 24 hours, and they, and we don't need this. On Saturday, massive brawls broke out between anti-immigration demonstrators and counter-protesters. Two police officers in Liverpool were taken to hospital, one with a suspected broken nose and another with a suspected broken jaw. Assistant Chief Constable Jenny Sims, who led Saturday's operation in Merseyside, said yesterday, the aggressive and abusive behavior of large groups today will never be tolerated and is being dealt with robustly. Those who engaged in this behavior bring nothing but shame to themselves and this city. Disturbing images of the clashes show rioters being handcuffed on the ground and multiple fires sending plumes of smoke into the air. One of the worst signs of violence came in Hull when a shoe zone store was set ablaze. Footage shows protesters reportedly looting pairs of Crocs after the charred store was left in ruins. Masked yobs were seen throwing bricks and bottles across the street as others set tires and a car park alight. Shops appear to have been ransacked by rampaging mobs elsewhere in the UK with thick black smoke seen above some of the country's major cities. In Manchester and Hull officers have been forced to fire tear gas into crowds as they battle with the hundreds of thugs. Terrified families who brought their children to see a Disney princess cruise in Liverpool fled for their lives after a mob of 1,500 thugs clashed with police. Shops were locked down in the Merseyside city, with an Odeon cinema reportedly telling punters they couldn't leave the building. Merseyside police released a statement yesterday saying, We condemn in the strongest possible terms the violence and disorder that happened in Liverpool city centre today. Assistant Chief Constable Sims added, The behavior we have seen today in Liverpool city centre is completely unacceptable. What should have been a sunny Saturday on the historic waterfront to be enjoyed by people of all ages turned into an afternoon of unashamed disorder and violence, which potentially put decent members of the public, including children, at risk. A Section 60 order is now in place across the city until 8.40 p.m. on Sunday. Officers have been given extra powers to stop and search people suspected of carrying weapons or planning criminality. Mounted police were filmed charging protesters in Bristol after different groups clashed in chaotic scenes. More masked yobs in Blackpool even used bottles and bricks to target disorientated police horses. And a street fight broke out between rioters and festival-goers at a punk music event rebellion. 
Around 10 officers were injured during the day of destruction, including three in Hull and six others in Liverpool, as projectiles were hurled from point-blank range. Police forces have confirmed further arrests are due to take place once CCTV and social media footage has been reviewed. With yet more marches planned for the next few days, PM Sir Keir Starmer held an emergency meeting with senior cabinet ministers. He said cops had his full backing to take action against extremists who are attempting to sow hate and division. And as Home Secretary Yvette Cooper declared, I want everyone to be clear, anyone who is involved with criminal disorder, violent thuggery on our streets, will have to pay the price. They should expect there to be arrests, prosecutions, penalties, and the full force of the law including imprisonment, travel bans, and more. Because it is really important communities feel safe on the streets. But cops across the country have continued to face violence and assaults, with many left injured. Several cars, a building, and bins have been set on fire in Belfast as chaos continues to escalate. Police also arrested two people as businesses were attacked with missiles thrown at PSNI officers during trouble linked to an anti-immigration march. Major violence has also been seen in Manchester as a massive brawl was swiftly broken up by officers wielding batons after a man appeared to hurl a flare into the crowd. Dispersal notices were also ordered in Blackburn, Lancashire, with more demonstrations expected to take place on Sunday. Another notice has been issued by cops in South Wales, around Mermaid Quay and the Welsh Parliament in Cardiff Bay. Elsewhere, in Hull, protesters have smashed in windows of a hotel used to house asylum seekers. Bricks and glass bottles have been lobbed at the hotel, while rioters shout. Another 150 people gathered in Piccadilly Gardens for a protest, entitled, Stand Up For Your Country, Enough Is Enough, just after midday on Saturday. A counter-protest, Stop the Far Right, was also held, attended by an estimated 350 people. In Leeds, 150 activists carrying St. George flags were outnumbered by counter-protesters, shouting in defiance. This weekend's demonstrations come after a shocking night of violence in Sunderland on Friday. Cleveland police yesterday revealed two boys aged 11 and 14 were arrested on suspicion of violent disorder in Hartlepool earlier in the week. Why has violence broken out? The knife attack at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class on Monday, which left three girls dead sparked violent disorder in some cities and towns in England this week. Thousands of people turned out to pay their respects to the victims at a vigil in Southport on Tuesday evening. But violence later erupted outside a mosque in the town, with 53 police officers and three police dogs injured. Dozens of people have been arrested over the disorder in Southport. Merseyside police said a 32-year-old man, from Wigan, was arrested on Friday on suspicion of violent disorder and remains in custody for questioning. On Wednesday evening, more than 100 protesters were arrested on Whitehall, where bottles and cans were thrown at police. Violence also broke out in Hartlepool, County Durham, and in Manchester, outside the Holiday Inn on Oldham Road. On Thursday, Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer announced a new national response to the disorder linking police forces across the country. The suspected attacker, Axel Ruta Kubana, 17, was born in Cardiff and living in Lancashire. He has been remanded in youth custody charged with three counts of murder, ten of attempted murder and one of possessing a bladed article. Source, thesun.co.uk. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.